Guys, in this video, hopefully, we're gonna have a bit of fun. Well, I mean, I try and have fun in most videos, but this one is a little bit extra fun. So I got an Armour Big Rock 3S BLX, the new Maverick Quantum 2 Flux, and a team associated rival MT10. So all three of them, brand new. I was gonna get a granite to go with this because the big rocks of it, well, it's like a longer wheelbase. You can see there, look, it's quite a bit longer. But the granite's been discontinued in the UK, so I couldn't get hold of one. I think there might have been a couple that were in stock, but they were like full retail, whereas this was, a, this was actually a decent price. And I just noticed they've changed the color on this. Got a bit of like a bronzy, maybe like a brown color to it. It's my original body, look. When did they change the color of them? That's really weird. You can't call that black anymore, because it's not. Anyway, three, three S capable, one tenth scale monster trucks. We're gonna go and have a little bit of a long jump competition. I recently done a shootout video on the MGX Hyper Go and the HBX Ravage. And by that video, I'd done a long jump and it was quite fun. This time though, I thought, We'll go a bit bigger, so hence why I've got these. So this isn't really a shootout between the three, it's just a little bit of fun. But what we are going to do as well, we're going to do an off-road speed test so we can see the speeds of all three of them in their natural environment rather than doing a speed test on roads. We're going to see which one can jump the furthest. Then we'll add some style points in, some back flips, front flips, and well, whatever else happens. I think the MT-10 might have the best chance for the style points, but we shall see. But now for the little minis, I used this ramp. It's just a second-hand one I got off of uh, I got it off Facebook Marketplace. It's actually a pretty good ramp and it's nice and wide. But for this video, I bought a new ramp, so I better build it. I was excited when I bought this ramp. Thought it was gonna be a nice new addition to the channel, but it's, well, not all that great, really. This cost me 174 pound, which is like over $200, and it turned up, well, moldy. It's still drying out, but it was damp and moldy. And in all fairness, I did email them and they said, um, wait for it to dry, clean it up. If you're still not happy, they'll replace the sides and the top deck. So, so fair enough, it's not an issue. But I put it all together and I'm no carpenter, but I can put stuff together. It's just like flat pack stuff. And the top board doesn't line up. I mean, it's, it's perfectly in line there. I, I put that a little bit low, but it's perfectly in line there and it's hanging over that side. Actually, before I carry on, Here's what it looks like on the website. As you can see, it looks really nice. It's like got a, a nice wood effect on it. it. Looks Everything looks nice and smooth. And well, yeah, this is what it is. Just a, just a load of plywood. Anyway, the worst bit for me, I think, is this. It doesn't line up flush with the ramp, so you don't get the full width for the ramp because you're about, well, not, not a massive amount, but, and it's not, square either it's been cut a bit wonky that's all the that's all the fixings you get that's all the screws you get with it this is the best bit and i'm still not worked out if i've done it right there's nothing for this to grip onto i don't know what's going on there as well look it's all bowed anyway i've emailed some more pictures and said it's not really all that great let's see what they come back with anyway the ramp's done we're gonna take it the big rock's the widest and as long as we hit the ramp square, we should be good. Right, <laughs> let's go. So before we go jumping, we need to uh, do a little speed test. I think the big rock's gonna be the fastest. So I'm gonna test that one first. Grass is quite long, but they've all got the same test. It's a fair test. Nice sunny day today, but not warm enough to dry the grass. There it is, flat out, here it comes. <laughs> so fast. Well, ah. Suspension's really soft on this. I don't remember it being that soft. Anyway, big rock did 46 mile an hour. That's decent. I think they're rated at 50. Um, from what I remember, I struggled to get 50 out of my original one. The tyres just bloomed too much. 46 though, that's good. Now I reckon next fastest is the Quantum. I think, I might be wrong, but the MT-10's quite quick. But 
I think this might be a little bit quicker. Oh, what? I stepped in the dog poo. Yeah. Hate people that don't clear up after their dogs. Right, anyway, all of them run in the exact same, well, pretty much exact same battery. The MT10 and the Quantum have got CNHL, 5,200 milliamp hour, 100C. Big Rock's got a 5,500 milliamp hour, uh, 100C Turnigy, I think. So very, very similar batteries. <laughs> that was close. What we get? Did we get over 40? 37. Ooh. Nearly 10 mile an hour difference between that and the big rock. That is gonna make a big difference on the jumping ability. Well, at least the distance. Right, is the MT-10 quicker than the Quantum? Certainly got a bit of pep. It's not gonna beat the big rock. Can't believe it done 46. <laughs> this is definitely gonna win on the uh, back flips, I think. All right, all oh, 36, a mile an hour difference. I got it in the right order. Guys, if you wanna win one of these trucks or a Smite, a Turbo or an FTX Stinger, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you more. Right, ramp set up. We've got flags for the three of them. Obviously one of the black sticker is for the Big Rock. Then we've got one with like a green for the Quantum. And there's the plain one for the MT-10, which is going first. I've set some cones up so that I can kind of dial myself into the ramp. It's relatively narrow, could probably do with two of them, but hopefully these cones may help me uh, hit it square, right. First thing I do is go for a bit of distance and then I'm gonna go for maybe some style points. Need to make sure it's going straight first. Yeah, it's pretty straight. <laughs> Here we go. Can I hit the ramp? That is the question. Oh, first try. Nice. I need my cones further out. I was too impressed that I hit the ramp. I wasn't looking where it landed. Oh! <laughs> Missed. I missed. I'll tell you what we do. Oh, I smashed one of my cones to pieces. Oh man, what we do is we're doing head on um, and then I can see where it lands and I should be able to hit the ramp. It's looking good. Oh, nice. Look what I did to my cone. <laughs> Completely destroyed it. There, wasn't it? Right. Oh, what? We've lost a pin. Let's just put that down like that. Lost a pin out of the body mount. Right. Now we've got our distance. Let's go for a backflip. Five points for a backflip. Ah, no! Oh. <laughs> Another cone dead. Oh my word. This carnage. Absolute carnage. Can't do a backflip going that fast either. Oh, I destroyed my cones. I need to get some new ones. Right, slow in. There we go. Great idea, but front flips should be able to do that flat out. Oh. How many was that? That was one, I think, one and a half. We didn't land it though, so it doesn't count. I reckon we could do a double front flip and I'm gonna go, if we can pull off a double, double front flip, I'm gonna go 15 points for that. Oh. oh my God. I've just pushed it in with no clips on the front. Uh, I'm just gonna go for one front flip. Come on, MT10. You got this. Nope, nope, you not got it. You not got it. <laughs> it's ejected the battery as well. Right then, let's see what this Quantum can do. Is it trimmed up? Yeah, close enough. Stand right here. Here it comes. That is full beans. Oh, it's hard to keep straight. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Oh, was that clean? I mean, it landed on all four. I'm gonna mark it, but we'll make it a provisional. Decided in front of the ram like this is the best place to stand. Full beans again. Come on, yes. Oh, that was way further. We're taking that one. Suspension on this, a little bit too soft and it's bouncing. It's, it's grounding out and bouncing it back on its roof. Whoa, whoa, that is not what I wanted to do. We all good? Yeah, we're all good. Oh! So slow in, fast out. Half throttle. Yeah. Five points. Not sure the big rock's going to be able to rotate. A bit longer wheelbase. Let's go again. Nice. Oh. Did we land a front flip in the MT10? I don't think we did, did we? Come on, let's go for some more points. Oh. Smashed another cone, did I? No, we're safe. Front flip, let's go. Oh, on that nose again. So on my review of this, I hit the nose so many times that it, um, it dislodged the diff initially and then it damaged it. Sounds all right at the moment, though. Oh, well, I think we might take that one as well, you know. I think that's a five-pointer. Got to be. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Well, right, last but certainly not least, the big rock. This thing should fly 10 mile an hour faster than them two. We've got a bit of a headwind. Uh, we've had a bit of a headwind throughout this, so we probably could do a little bit better. Uh, MT10, Quantum. Oh, where shall I stand? I'm gonna stand here, shall I? I better stand here. Oh, it won't go straight. What? Oh, man. Something's definitely happened to that suspension. All right, come on. Let's get it straight. Get it straight. No, 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 no. Whoa, shh. Wow. Well, there goes the other cone. <laughs> that was so close to my GoPro. What's up with it? I need at least one solid hit. Feed it in gently, 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 gently. Oh. There was no control in the air with that. Problem is, when you're at full throttle, it gives you no throttle room to correct it. Oh. Wow, that is gonna take a kick it, uh-oh. Oh, the armor has broke. What do you know? I had high hopes for that. It's just exploded a shock. What? No way. Wow, who'd have thought that? The armour breaking out of these three. I've just slotted it back in, it's nowhere near fixed. I want to get a big jump in. I want to see, it's not got further than uh, Quantum at the moment. Just going to go, we're just going to send it. We're going for it. Oof. went further it didn't land but where did it hit just there look bosh right there right <laughs> we'll go again we'll go again no gopro ah! no my gopro
come on. Oh. Oh. oh, man. That was Ramp Cam. You've destroyed, <laughs> destroyed Ramp Cam. Right, this is the last time I'm going to try for a clean one. Look at the carnage there. Cones everywhere. GoPro everywhere. All for all. No, 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 no. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm having fun. I shouldn't be, but I'm having fun. But I tell you what, should we see if we can at least scavenge some points and do a backflip? That doesn't require full throttle, does it? Oh, it's not bad at backflips, you know. <laughs> uh, that was not a front flip. Can't be bothered to keep putting that shock in. It's hanging out. Come on, front flip, and then we're done. Ah, oh, we'll take that. Style points to the big rock. <laughs> Even though it's broken. Even though it's broken. Right, it's been a couple of days since I did that video because I wanted to get it edited and have a look back at all the footage before I've done like this summary and damage report because you can't always see everything that's going on when you're just there trying to drive, get the right shots and stuff like that. But what an absolute blast. I hope that the enjoyment I was having did come out in the video. And I know I did say when I was running the Big Rock, I'm having so much fun and I shouldn't be. What I meant by that was this thing, obviously I broke the shot quite early on and I just kept piling this thing into the ground. So I shouldn't have been having fun because I get crashing, but I was. I was having that much fun that I kind of, lost track of doing any kind of scoring or I don't know but I'll let you decide which one was your favorite and the reason this isn't one of my usual like shootouts where I score them on like price durability fun factor speed and all that kind of thing is because I would recommend all three so there's no point me doing like a proper shootout because well in my opinion there's no need to do it because all of them are very good the one thing I will say though is this is a hundred cheaper than both of them. In the UK it is anyway. A little bit faster than the MT-10 and it did jump a little bit further. I was quite surprised actually, because the speed difference was only like a mile an hour. And I was, I was quite surprised at the distance that jumped compared to that. I don't know whether it's because it's a bit wide, a bit more stable, so it's able to launch better. But anyway, really, really impressive. All of them really impressive. Less impressed with the big rock, but that is the first time I've ever had a shock do that to me. So whether it was just a really awkward landing, it kind of landed on the wheelie bar, so it pulled the wheels back. So all of them jump, they can all backflip. Front flips are never easy to do, but they'll all front flip as well if you're okay on your trigger. The brakes on the MT-10 are quite harsh out the box, and this is a little bit nose heavy, so it kind of pushes it forward a little bit. Big rock, longer wheelbase, a little bit more controllable when it is rotating, and it does rotate quite well. Well, actually but like I said I would have preferred to get a granite and as for damage well the main damage was <laughs> three of my cones smashed to pieces I need to get some ones that aren't plastic maybe I like using my cones smashed my GoPro tripod and I got a GoPro that seems to only be recording audio at the moment the front screen's not working and then you can see a little bit of damage on the rear so RIP GoPro so it turned out to be quite an expensive video so we'll start with the MT-10. Um, I lost the clips to the body post, so just flapping about. Also lost, if you can just see in there, just about there, I lost the drop link for the anti-roll bar or the sway bar. However, when I was getting some shots with this with the um, little onboard camera, the camera fell off and it rolled on the grass and it landed right next to it. So we got it back. And after doing a quick inspection, we also broken arm. I only noticed that just a minute ago when I was giving them a good look over. So we already know the big rock, it ripped that shock out of there. I've had a good look underneath, I've had a good look in here and I can't find anything else wrong with it other than uh, blowing that shock out. Like I did mention, it just, the suspension just didn't feel right. It just felt, it just feels way softer than I remember and it made it really hard to sort of drive in a straight line. Oh, and the matte black body that is not matte black, it's like a satin bronze color. Well, looks a bit more black now and yeah, shows all your fingerprints. And then finally the underdog, not a single issue with it. Body's all in one piece, 
I mean, it did put a couple of little dents in the back there. I think that's where it compresses and it just hit this bumper support here. Um, and the other thing is the ESC just came unstuck. It was just flapping about in there. But other than them two minor things, it's the only one that properly survived, I guess. Anyway, let me know which one you'd put as your favorite. All three, really good. I've put them in the order that I think they kind of finished. If that rear suspension didn't pop on the big rock, I think I'd have probably put the big rock there. So I'd go first, second, third. Don't forget there's a link in the description. You could win one of these. There's five prizes. You could win one of them. The Rival MT-10, an Armour Big Rock, Maverick Quantum 2, an FTX Stinger, absolutely love them things, or a Black Zon Smiter Turbo. And I'm giving you a choice of either a brand new one or the ones used in the videos. And I'll leave that choice to you. And if you choose one used in the video, I'll make sure I fix it before I send it to you. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.